What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic here with Majestex. So I have my share of different random gadgets around the house, but I've always toyed with the idea of having some surveillance cameras around the house, like more of a traditional surveillance camera system. Well, the company Elect was actually nice enough to send me out a surveillance camera system for me to check out, so let's get into it. So when it comes to home security and surveillance and cameras and things like that, nowadays you have a lot of different options. You've got things like the Nest Drop Cam, you've got the Ring Stick Up Cam and all these other different cameras and things. Well, maybe you wanna do a more traditional setup with like a centrally managed system. Well, that's what this is going to be. So this security camera system I have with me costs about 190 bucks right now. So this package I have here comes with an eight channel DVR that has a one terabyte hard drive built into it and it's gonna come with four 720p weatherproof cameras. It's gonna come with four 60 foot cables that are gonna do BNC for video and provide power to the cameras. Comes with a mouse for you to navigate through the interface. Even though this mouse looks like it's used, it doesn't quite look new, but it did come with a mouse. And it's gonna come with a nice remote as well. And here you can see what the camera looks like. It looks like the actual camera part is about four inches long. So these cameras actually look to have pretty decent build quality. They claim that they're weatherproof. They actually look really nice and they have like a mostly metal finish here. They have a good amount of weight to them and they feel solidly built. So as far as the design of the DVR, it looks pretty basic. Uh, on the back, you're gonna have eight BNC connectors. Uh, you've got BNC, VGA, and HDMI outputs as well. You got your audio input there in case you wanna record audio. And it actually supports network backups and backups through USB if you wanna connect an external hard drive. And then it has an ethernet port. Now that's fast ethernet. It doesn't come with gigabit, even though that's not really a big deal, but the big deal is it doesn't have wide so that does kind of suck. So do keep in mind, if you want to buy this, you're going to need to sit it next to your router. So I wanted to lay everything out on the table here to give you an idea of what it looks like. So this is everything that this thing came with. Um, so it just kind of gives you an idea of how everything connects. So you're gonna have these 60 foot cables and they carry power and video. So you just connect it on the camera and put the camera wherever you want. On the other end, you're gonna wire it into the DVR and then you're gonna have the four power cables that are gonna split off and you're gonna connect those into the splitter so it's a lot of stuff, but setting it up isn't really that complex. The only issue you're gonna run into, obviously, is running the cables to wherever you want in the house to put the camera. All right, so this is me on the camera talking to you. So this is actually pretty good quality. This is better than I was expecting. I'm actually about four feet away from the camera right now. The field of view isn't terrible. It's got kind of a fisheye look to it a little bit. All right, just so you know, I'm actually sitting in complete darkness right now. I wanted to give you an idea of what the night vision looks like. So all I'm seeing right now is just the infrared lights that are on the camera. It's just a ring of infrared lights, but it's supposed to have pretty good night vision, so we'll see. So I actually, I'll hold up the other camera here and I'll hold this up just so you can see the rest of the basement. Um, now again, this is complete darkness for the most part. There's a couple of LED lights around that are, you know, just from devices being on, but for the most part, this is dark. All right, so once you turn this thing on and you got your cameras connected, the very first thing you're gonna see is your grid view here that has all of your cameras here. Now, as I said, it does support up to eight cameras, but it came with four. Um, so this is what you're gonna see here. Now, I just have my cameras laying all over the place, but I do have one set up right here in the first one. Then you can right click and go to main menu. Now, I will say navigating through here and setting this thing up can be a little bit daunting if you're not technical. So if you go to net, because this is where most people have issues, if you go to net, this is gonna have your IP information. So you can make sure you got land there, check your box for DHCP, and then hit apply. That's gonna give your DVR an IP address. So you definitely wanna do that first. Um, if you go to advanced, you can actually see your ports here. And this is where you can set your different ports up. Um, then make sure if you want to be able to access this camera outside of your network, whether it's on your phone using the app or whatever, you have to make sure that these ports are open. Um, so if you're not sure exactly how to do that, you can go to portforward.com, look for your router, and it'll tell you exactly how you forward these ports. Now I have Android, I went in the Play Store, and they have an SGSI app, that's S-G-S-E-Y-E. -E. If you just type that in all one word, that's gonna show you the app. And once you download that app, it has an op option in there for you to scan a QR code 
You scan this QR code and boom, that's it. It finds your BBR and it pops the cameras up right within that app. It's really cool and you don't really have to configure anything. And the app actually, to my surprise, worked pretty well. Um, you got cloud storage. Now here I can actually, you see it says account info Majestex. I've actually got it linked to Google Drive. All I did was check that box and when I hit bind, it popped up with the screen to tell me exactly what to do on my phone to authorize it. And once I authorized it, it popped right up. Now, another thing that a lot of people were saying didn't work was trying to get to the video streams from their computer. So I'm gonna go over that as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch IE. You're gonna put in the IP address of the DVR. So if you don't have that, you need to go back into the interface and look and see what the IP address is. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in, put my login information in here. All right, now once you log in, this is what you're gonna see, nothing. So you're gonna have to download the uh, plugin that they have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. Gonna install it, it is gonna ask you to install it. You may have to restart this web page a few times once you install it. It's gonna refresh the page. So if I click cam one, boom, there's the stream. Cam two, cam three, cam four, there you go. So you can actually get to the configuration for the DVR from here as well, so you don't have to sit right in front of it. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. I think this has a nice interface. It does a lot more than I thought it would do, and this is all for under $200. This is definitely gonna be hard to beat. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. As always, hit that like button if you did, and I wanna hear your thoughts and comments. Go ahead and post in the comments section, and I'll see you guys in the next video.